As I turned the corner, I slowed the car. A throng of people had gathered in the street. They surrounded an empty Capra car in a messy circle. They were yelling, barking things at each other and at the car. A few were taking swings. The auto car made dozens of tiny, rapid fire turns, trying to free itself from the circle. I thought of a moth trapped between window panes. Then, another sound. Was that my back door? What the hell? I need to get out of here. I, I need you to go. I'll pay. What the? Listen, I'll explain, but we need to go. You're a Neocab, right? I'm... You drive people. We need to go. I can't be here. What the hell are you doing in my car? You want a ride? You go through Neocab. You don't just open my door without asking. Look, I'm sorry, seriously, but that's my fucking bike under the wheels of that Capra, okay? I nearly died, and if we don't get out of here now, the cops will be here, and my life will actually be over. I can explain everything, but first you need to put some distance in between us and that mob. You know what? No. If the cops are coming, that's your issue. And stop telling me what to do from the back seat of my own car. I let the silence and the tension fill the space. The packs looked so scared. The mob outside was getting worse. And did I really want to deal with LOPD right now? Hey, hey, you've got panic eyes. I see you. Do you see me? I can usually get a read on a person the first time I see their face. Savvy called it my truth download, not like she ever listened when it was about someone she wanted to date. But I needed to be calm to hear that little voice inside my head, and this pax had me all riled up. I met their eyes in the rearview mirror, and it worked. It was as clear as if they were saying it out loud. I knew they were sorry, they were safe, and they were just trying to survive. like me. You're the sort of person who feels things really intensely, right? Well, this is an intense situation. Please, take one second to see me asking you for help and drive. I held their gaze. I felt the fear evaporate. My pulse slowed. There we go. They trailed off as they watched my field grid crash from angry red into a chill green. It seemed to calm them down too. You're wearing one of those field things and it looks like we're cool. Choose your words and packs carefully to shift your mood in a new direction and change your story. We're cool. That's good because me and the LOPD are not. Floor it. I got us out of there in the nick of time, just as the squad cars rolled up and the bike punk scrambled into the night. What's your name? I'm Azul. Oh, 
Why does adrenaline ever have to wear off? This shit hurts, dude. I'm Lena. Where are we going? Take me. Shit. I need to get to work. I work at this club in La Rouge. It's not too far. I'm shit. Ow. Are you okay? I'm, I'm bleeding. Oh no, can I help? Can you give me stitches and antibiotics? No, is it that bad? No, forget it, I'm just rattled. Thanks for asking. And don't worry, I won't mess up your car. That was thoughtful. Neocab is supposed to cover cleaning costs for things like that. But once they do, there's always a mysterious operations surcharge that'll pop up in your paycheck a few days later. I got hit by a capper. I was on my bike. It came out of nowhere, sideswiped me, and then it just kept driving right over my fucking bike. Did you get the plate number? Shit, no, I didn't. Don't bother going back though, forget it. And all those people just showed up? No, no, I called a radix swarm. What's a radix swarm? You know who Radix is, right? No clue. We're activists. We stand up against corporate entities like Capra. Radix is all about direct action to change the city for the people. Getting rid of cars, that's just the seed. What grows from that are safer streets, public transit that works, a big chunk beaten out of the luxury market. Most people just see us as punks on bikes, but most people are blind. So then what's a swarm? If you're a member of Radix and you're in trouble, like if you get hit by a fucking Capra, you send up a flare on the app to call a Radix Swarm. It alerts the other members, shows them where you are, tells them you need help. So that was help? doesn't seem like it did much for you if you're here with me I just it got crazy I don't know I didn't expect that is it your first time calling a swarm yeah but it's like I don't know it's not supposed to be like that what's it supposed to be like I don't know, I thought they'd save me, but it was like they just showed up to fuck up the capper car. Nobody tried to get my bike or whatever. One dude helped me up, but like, the second I said I was okay. I didn't matter anymore. I'm sorry. That sucks. Yeah. But I'll get you to where you need to go. That makes it even worse. Why do you say that? Because it's still a fucking car. You're putting people at risk every day, plus... I shouldn't be riding around in a death machine in front of a bunch of Radix folks.
getting out of there was the right idea. Do you think they saw me get in? Nah. They seem pretty focused on the car. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I could feel them relax just a bit. What a fucking night. My leg's killing me. My bike's gone. They're probably going to ask me to leave Radix. I doubt that. They need people like you. People who cruise around in fucking death machines? People who call cars fucking death machines. Yeah, okay. Whatever. Look, where I'm going, I don't want them to see me get out of your car. So can you just drop me like corner of Guadalupe and Sanders? I'll walk the rest of the way. On that leg? It's just a scrape. I'm fine. Your call. Well, yeah. They lean to look out the window. Okay, here's good. Maybe just pull into the alley. The whole block looked pretty deserted, but I still slipped into the shadows. Whatever would put their mind at ease. You don't like record this right. That's the Neo Cab. Right. No cameras. Nothing on the app. You were never here, Azul. Okay. Well, how much do I owe you? Ten coins to cover it. Yeah, fair price, I guess. Here you go. Thanks. Listen, thanks for not kicking me out of your car. I appreciate it. But like, what you saw? No worries, I'll keep it quiet. Thanks. Shit, wait, I didn't get your name. Lena. Cool, thanks Lena. I'm Azul, I said that right? You did, and you're welcome. Have a good night. Azul stepped out of the car, stumbling a bit like they couldn't put too much weight on their knee. Without so much as a look back though, they shook it off and limped into the alley. It was well after midnight and I had met my ride quota. I checked my fuel grid, green. On most nights, I'd call it quits about now, or maybe push on for one last ride, if I had it in me. But until I heard from Savvy, I had nowhere to go. When was she going to text me back? 